Welcome back to Element A Day in May, and thank you for continuing to watch. Today's element, element 109, Mitnarium, is a synthetic element. It was recently discovered, or created, I should say, in 1982 in a research facility in Germany. Now, while the element might be synthetic, the woman, yes, woman, it was named for, was very real. And her name was Lise Meitner. As far as Meitnerium itself, not much has been done with the element, as most elements that are synthesized exist only for fractions of seconds at a time. It was discovered in Germany and confirmed a few years later in Russia. Everyone agreed that the element should be named for Meitner, which is fairly impressive considering some ongoing naming controversies that will be discussed more tomorrow. But why did the scientists that synthesized Meitnerium want to honor Lise Meitner? Well, you might not have heard of her, but Meitner was an Austrian-Swedish physicist who did years of incredibly important work with many collaborators throughout the years, including assisting the legendary Maxwell Planck and Otto Hahn. She discovered the element protactinium with Hahn and explained the theoretical concept of nuclear fission, which is basically when an atom splits and releases a ton of energy. And Hahn had discovered that, sort of. So, a lot of people contributed to that discovery. Unfortunately, Meitner was not included in the 1944 Nobel Prize for Chemistry for the discovery, and maybe it was partially because she wasn't entirely around when it happened. The thing is, Hitler came into power in Germany in 1933, and then in 1938, Austria was annexed from Germany and Meitner decided to leave because well, Hitler was awful, but her and Otto Hahn still corresponded and she was still a major collaborator. Meitner has been recognized for all sorts of amazing scientific achievements, and I encourage you to look up some more of them. For now, that's day two. Stick with us. Day three of Element A Day in May is tomorrow. Element A Day in May